What's up people? My name is Ricky and welcome to the vet. It is that time of the year when iPhone gives us a new phone. And there will be lines all around the block for people trying to buy the new phone. The official release of the iPhone was today in uh, Los Angeles, California, I think, I'm not sure. Um, so you can tell this video, it's not that really researched and shit. But that's not the point. What I want to talk about is the new phone itself, the iPhone X. The iPhone X just came out and um, it is amazing. But what I want to focus on today is their new security feature. Its major backbone is around facial recognition technology. Now, past devices and past users have said, because I've never used this stuff before, past users have said that the previous phones could be fooled using a photograph. That basically, someone would be able to take your photo and hold it in front of your phone and unlock your device. On the iPhone X, this is not possible. First off, I'm I'm not gonna try and use all their big terms. I'm gonna try and make this video as simple as possible so that anybody can understand. The new facial rec software on the iPhone uses 3D technology. Their camera maps the contours and shape of your face. And since this is in a three-dimensional space, a photograph cannot capture this. Thus, someone cannot unlock your phone using your photograph. But, with every advancement comes another set of challenges. And I'm here to talk about them. Let's just say, for instance, you own an iPhone X. And let's just say you happen to get yourself in a little scuffle. Let's go on to say that in said scuffle, you took a blow to the face. Maybe you took a couple of blows to the face. And your face ends up looking like this. Your phone ain't gonna recognize this shit. So that means until your swelling goes down, you can't access your phone. You can't even call Apple to tell them about their problem. Because your phone don't recognize you no more. You should not buy an iPhone X if you are a boxer, if you're an MMA fighter, and last but not least, if you're a football player and you happen to be playing against Liverpool. Besides that, let's see how the phone does. I know it's gonna launch in Kenya, possibly costing an arm and a leg, but some people gonna buy it. So when you guys get it, please hit me up. Let me know if my theory holds any water. Oh, uh, David, uh, Lanium, I'm still waiting on this clapback video of yours. Um, I don't know if I should just call this one a win. Once again, my name is Ricky. This has been The Vent. Please like, comment, and share this video. And most of all, do not forget to subscribe. It's been real, people. Peace.